This is Circle M in Saline, Grand Saline, Texas sale auction room building, whatever you want to call it. It is nice. They got a few bands. They don't have any more standing things. Circle M sale. These are the donor cows that we're looking at. Buying some embryos out of. There's some nice ones here. One zero five. You tell me what about to give on her? Who's gonna bet that uh, fifty thousand to go on? What about fifty? You gotta bet fifty. What about fifty? Gotta bet fifty thousand. I'm at ten. Fifteen. Oh! I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit of a to Circle M's dispersal down at Grand Saline, Texas. Uh, we stayed at Canton, Texas. Uh, we bought embryos out of some really, really good cows. A um, couple things. One, it's easier to transport embryos than it is live animals. And you don't have to worry about a live animal that's been growing in, or been raised in one part of the country, switching up to another part of the country and getting used to all the grass and everything. But really, these, there's a risk to these. There's no guarantees because it's a dispersal, so you buy what you buy. And before we met Dr. Huell, Dr. Stan Huell, uh, that we have a lot of faith to getting embryos in, uh, we probably wouldn't have bought very many. But we bought we bought a number of them, uh, two to five out of some uh, good cows. Um, we'll bring them back. Over the next probably two to three years, we'll put them in our cows. Uh, they're all purebred embryos. Uh, some of them are female sexed. Um, which means you got a 90% chance of them being heifers. Um, and it, it, it's, it's something that we need to do to upgrade the genetics in our herd. Uh, it, it, are they the greatest thing since sliced bread? No, but they're sliced bread. Uh, they're pretty good ones. Uh, we think we bought them out of the top cows. Uh, we got them because the fact it was a dispersal. One, uh, the, the no guarantee worried some people. And then two, the fact that there's just so many embryos that they were selling at one time because they were getting rid of all of them. If they were having a normal sale, they would only have a few packages of embryos on there and the price of them would probably be double or triple, at least double if not triple or quadruple what we paid for them. And so generally on these dispersals, you can get the best deals. And so we went ahead and got a few of those. Uh, we brought them back in the tank. Uh, we bid on a couple live ones, but we didn't get anything really cheap, and that's where we're right now where the ag economy is and at at we're really cheap. And uh, but stuff did did bring. If you were looking for a nice purebred show heifer, you could have picked one up really reasonably priced down there. Uh, now the problem with these embryos is uh, we're gonna have to wait till we have cows that are set up and ready to take them, and which will be this fall or, or for fall calves. So it means we won't put them in till probably December, January. We won't have those babies until next fall. They won't be weaned until the spring of, what, 19? So the, the earliest any of these could be showed as animals would be uh, 
the summer of 19 and then you're going to turn around and um, they're not going to be a breeding piece until 20. So these are long-term investments that's in the tank here. It's just something that doesn't happen real quick. Now once you get a really good one on the ground, you can start flushing them and getting embryos out. You can sell embryos. You can uh, put them in other cows. But it's going to take a little time to get this stuff going. But it's, uh, yeah, is it quicker to buy a cow and start flushing her? Yeah. Is it quicker to buy a bred heifer and after she has her calf start flushing her? Yeah. Is it, <clears throat> is it maybe quicker to buy a show heifer that's on the ground and really good and you know what you got? Yeah. Um, but all that costs more money and we were able to get uh, a number of them here in a, a wide variety and uh, a little bit cheaper and it's going to take some time and work on our effort, our effort. but we th I think at least by 2020 uh, we'll be starting to show the, the, the very good results of the efforts that Judy and I spent the last couple days down in Texas. Uh, so we're at Texarkana, we're heading home, it's raining like cats and dogs in Houston and um, biblical flooding and we'll just leave it at that. It's, it's bad down there, but we're heading home.